myself because I had to feed my, uh, I didn't only had like a couple, one, or, right. one groom or whatever. So I really had to help feed and all that stuff. And so, um, and I watched it, it was so exciting to watch. It was a good horse, the best paddle one at that day. And you could hear the crowd. I thought, that would be great to, you know, never envision that, you know, you know, be able to win it so many times. But uh, it's still exciting and nerve wracking, which is good, you know. So this is why we train it. We make all these sacrifices and, you know, I'm, I'm, and I'm happy for, you know, for the team, I have a great team that, that works for me, and they um, they work so hard. You know, they put a lot of hours in. So, what does it mean to you to, to uh, become the all-time winningest trainer, break the tie with Bobby Franco? Um, you know, Bobby Franco. You know, he was one of the greatest. Really miss him. Um, you know, the, he was a great loss to racing. He was uh, he was a great trainer, oh, smart guy, and and uh, you know. Well, top trainers, we watch each other, we learn from each other, mm -hmm. and, um, but uh, you know, the, you know, it's just, it just, it's great to just be able to win the Pacific Classic because that's something that you know Del Mar, that's their, uh, it's a big race, the marquee race, that's the one that everybody wants to win, and uh, it's our Kentucky Derby. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey Bob, were you happy to see the three quarters and eleven and change? After a half before I was six. actually I like the way that he was he was cruising went 23 I was afraid he might go 22 and something and um, but he uh, Pratt said he was actually um, he thinks he could get him to relax a little bit more you know I think he learned a lot from him and I think the horse is learning as we as we go along and um, but uh, you, you can't do it unless you have a really top horse you know and, and uh, I think he saw like I said two really top Absolutely. I, um, and I knew, you know, when you have a guy like Richard Mandela, he doesn't run horses and races for the fun of it. And you know, I knew he was going to be tough in there. And, those are, and Mike Smith, I was watching probably Mike Smith more than I was watching my horse <laughs> during the race. Like, what's he going to do? I know Big Money Mike. He's going to. He's going to. He's going to. But um, you know, it, it's just a. You know, he. Uh, and then when the other horse uh, uh, slowed down to Andy, he ran a big race. Yeah. I remember him beating me at Los Alamitos in the fraternity one time. They was like, what? You know, like it was like, you know, he's going to do it to me again. But uh, I'm just proud of my horse. And uh, it's always, you know, you always feel proud that when they, they show up. Unfortunately, he punted. He didn't, you know, he didn't show up. He just, he just hasn't been much. But he's not a beach guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go through um, Arabian Nights' career a little bit? I mean, he's just really let you race. You just tell, tell us how that happened. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's a horse that we just took our time with him. Um, and so he's never really had any issues or anything. He right. just, uh, I just, we want him to, we know he was really fast. And uh, so, uh, and he was a, you know, we bought him to give a lot of money for him. Yeah. And so uh, I remember Gary Young. He, he, he bought him, and uh, and so we, we we loved him at the cell. And we bought him, and Mr. Zadon, you know, he wants to play at the at the top level, and he was he was in the business, and he got out for a little bit, didn't have any luck, and he wanted to give one more try, and and I I, I ran into him at the Dubai airport on my way to Riyadh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and he says, hey, and I the guy's waving. Bob Baffert. I go, what? And so he says, yeah, I'm thinking about getting back in the business. He says, would you train for me? I said, yeah. I said, sure. You know, so, and he came back and we bought Princess Noor. And so he's been very, but he's such a nice, gentle, he's a gentleman and he's a, and he deserves, he's just a nice guy. You know, he knows the ups and downs of racing mm -hmm. and uh, he knows, you know, everything can be great and everything can be, you know, he understands that. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough sport, but, uh, We've had a lot of, really a lot of good luck together, and uh, you know, and you know, we've had some good horses, you know. So, what do you think um, for these two horses today? The one, two horses, and with uh, Archangelo, it looks like it could be the year of the three-year-old the classic. I know my hair gauge coming back to haunt me. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a good classic. You know, the thing we got to get them there is still a ways off, and you know they'd have to be training. You'd have to be training exceptionally well. You know, everything's got to go right. right. So, you know, the main thing is you you get these grade one wins into them, and this is very important for these horses, and uh, and uh, just let them freshen them up because he's um, he's a horse that we we know he's gonna get better with age. Mm -hmm. He still hasn't really peaked yet. He's a good horse, and uh, and I think like uh, Richard's horse is going to get better, you know, and they, they're all going to get better. The three-year-olds are, are uh, so you just don't, I, you know, this is the time of year I've won the, all the Breeders' Cup races. I think I've won them with three-year-olds, you know, a lot of them. You know, so, a lot of races to look at. <laughs> you know, so, uh, but um, but it's, it's, we'll just let the horse, you know, we'll, we'll see what he, you know, he'll, I was trying, he's got to, you know, he has to be training. You know, if the ball goes well, you know, that's the plan. Is there a possibility you'd run him once before the Breeders' Cup? Or you... I don't know. Uh, we're going to see how much this takes out of him. Sure. You know, I, I think it was, uh, you know, it was a tough race, you know. Was, you know, he came back. But, you know, he, he wasn't, he didn't look exhausted or anything like that. But it's, uh, it was, uh, these, all these races, they're demanding, you know, and stuff. So it's, uh, but it's, uh, I'm just enjoying the moment right now. Sure.